Okay, there is a lot going on, a whole lot. And I got to say, Matt Gates, he has done enough to the Republican Party to make everyone question what's going on. Now, I would say, I was like, what's going on? What's going on? Now, okay, Matt. Matt Gates did not vote at all for Speaker McCarthy. He abstained from his vote. By him abstaining from his vote, he somehow reserved the right to be able to have one person to oust him. And that's exactly what he did. Now, instead of finding some kind of unity or way of working with McCarthy. Now, I'm not a big, well, McCarthy, I think he was doing, he was making some good head waves because he has to work with both sides of the aisle. But that's not what Matt Gate wants. He wanted to, my way or the highway, we're gonna bulldoze our way through. No, that, that's not how it works. You gotta work with the other side, Matt. That's why you are in the biggest trouble on earth. And your situation is so bad to where you have the Republican parties who wants to oust you. Now, okay, let's back up a little bit. When AOC calls you stupid, she didn't just simply say stupid. No, 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 no. It's a special kind of oomph when New Yorkers call you stupid because they're like, hey, Matt, you're stupid. <laughs> it hits you in a different way. It really does. Uh, let me see. You say uh, eventually it was McCarthy signing a secret deal overnight. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the secret deal. I'm not sure about it. But he was simply going in between both parties, trying to move the country, but save his neck at the same time. Uh, also said uh, he did it because Gat, uh, Matt was an ethical or an ethics investigation and wanted to negotiate power to save his But Okay. But Matt, keep in mind. Well, I can't say keep in mind, but Matt never voted. He abstained. He didn't say yes or no. He backed out of, of, of the vote. So my thought is this, Matt. If you were so against um, McCarthy, you should have voted no. In fact, Matt, you made Stephen Miller the big time hater of anyone, of anything. Okay, he hates everyone. To stop out of him beating up on Democrats to say something nice about them, by them being unified, by them being cohesive, and he's ashamed of you crossing the aisle to blow up your own party for whatever reason. And people are coming up with reasons. People are coming up with reasons. Uh, let me see. It is all about saving his career well, if you're talking about McCarthy, uh, McCarthy went through, a, uh, what was it, 15 votes. He made so many promises to any and everyone. And one thing you can't be is so divided to where you promise him one thing, but then you promise them the opposite of what you promised them. You're going to blow everything up. And I have, and, and 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 that and that right there is really true. I don't know why McCarthy wanted that position so bad. What was it about that position why he had to be there at that point in time? I don't know. I truly don't know, but I find it really, really wild. I've done a lot of wild things in my time as Speaker of the House. But one thing that has never happened was no party has ever got to the point where they sided with the other party to get rid of someone. That right there is something that is done on both levels, or, or, or better yet, both sides, to where they're taking people off of committees as AOC is being investigated. What's her name? Um, 
down down south. Oh my goodness, Louisiana, I believe it's um, Senator uh, Swallow marrying a Chinese spy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's it's wild on both sides. So for Matt Gates to do what he did, as far as what Newt Gingrich was saying, was unforgivable.